You can't sit there. You can't sit there either. Hello? Did you ever just talk to the people who do all this stuff? I mean, instead of reading all this, why don't we just talk to the people who do this homeless stuff for a living? Oh, you mean like this, homelessness advocacy? Yeah. Okay. Well, how about we just call them? Without Devon, we're going to need all the help we can get. Temporary housing is just that. It's temporary. And families in temporary shelter face many challenges. So we work with some of the laws to help them overcome these challenges. Like what? Well, many families don't know that if they're homeless, their children, even preschoolers, have certain protections when it comes to their education. And those protections apply even if they're not in a homeless shelter, like if they're having to live with family or friends because they lost their home. But you're not homeless if you're living with someone, are you? Actually, yes. Families that lose their permanent home and have to double up with relatives or friends are considered homeless. They have the same rights as other homeless families. What do you mean by rights? Well, in the case of a family that's homeless or those who are doubled up, the student has two options. One, they can continue in the school they were going to and get free transportation to that school. Or two, they can enroll immediately in the local school, even if they don't have all the necessary documents. And so who decides what school? Well, it depends on what's in the best interest of the student but the law favors keeping the child in their original school. Really? Yes, it's a federal law, the McKinney-Vento Act. Angie, we're gonna win this tournament. You know what that means, right? It means I'm getting my debate partner back. <laughs> hey, we gotta move fast. Miss Fisher, what do we do next? Okay, here's what we do. Right. You might wanna write this down. <laughs> Right, I heard there's a girl in Lincoln High. Yeah, really good. Yeah. I think her name's Devon. Mm -hmm. She's my baby. Hi, Devon. Hi, I'm Mr. Costa. I'm from Georgetown University. I'm the coach of the debate team. I've heard a lot about you and came over tonight to see and hear your debate. I know you're busy getting ready, um, but I would like to try to see you afterwards if you're available. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, well, that'd be good. I'll see you then, and thank you very much. Good luck to you tonight. Thank you. Hey, how you feel? I can't believe this is happening. Now I know how much support homeless students need. I came so close at losing this chance, but you guys never gave up. You just don't know how great I am to have you and my mom in my life because you made sure I stay where I need to be. And that's right here at the championship. You ready, Angie? You know it. Let's win this thing. What happened to Devon and her family happens to thousands of families every year because not everyone knows about this law. 
Many people who become homeless don't want to tell anyone because they're afraid their children will be put out of their school. But thanks to the McKinney Vento Act, you don't have to worry about that. Remember, you don't have to be living on the street to be considered homeless. Under this law, you're considered homeless if you're doubled up. That means living with friends or family due to loss of housing or living in a motel or trailer park. You could be living in an emergency shelter, a transitional housing, living in a car, park, public place, bus, or train station, or if you're a child or youth awaiting foster care placement. If you're a student and on your own because you've run away or gotten kicked out, this law covers you too. Here are your rights under the McKinney-Vento Act. You can choose between two schools, old or new, depending on what's best for you. You can stay at your old school with free transportation, or you can enroll immediately in a school close by, even if you don't have your medical records or other documents. You can get free lunch. You can participate in after-school activities like sports and theater. And you can get education services, including gifted and talented programs, English as a second language, and special education. If you think this law can help you, Here's what you can do. First, pick up this brochure, The Rights of Homeless Children to an Education. Then, talk to your school principal or guidance counselor and explain your situation. If that doesn't work out, call the contact person for your county on the back of the brochure. Remember, homeless students don't have to miss school. Everyone has a right to an education. For more information, go to www.publicjustice.org.